subscribe my channel technocritic in order to know about various new technical things and also press the bell icon in order to get notified welcome back this is vedan from channel technocritic and in this video i'll be telling you about how to do your paytm kyc and also what are the terms and conditions of doing paytm kyc what was the last date how you can use paytm even after the date has expired and how to do kyc with the cashback thing and all in this video so watch the video till the end and also if you have not yet subscribed my channel then do hit that subscribe button because that is going to help you as i bring such technical updates on my channel whenever i find a new and good kind of technical update to share with my subscribers so do hit that subscribe button and watch the video till the end so face basically first of all the last date to do paytm kyc was 28th of february whoever has done kyc before 28th of february the they are able to use paytm services up to full extent but those users who haven't done paytm kyc before 28th of february till today then the problem is that they cannot send the money to other paytm user using the paytm transfer or they cannot send their money which is there in their paytm wallet to their bank account via paytm so those are the two disadvantages if you have not done your paytm kyc yet now why paytm is doing kyc because according to the rbi guidelines that paytm has got from rbi they have to do a paytm kyc for each and every customer but if you haven't done your kyc you can still pay your bills the recharges and all those kind of transaction by the money which you have in your wallet also there is some transaction limit put of around 10000 expenditure per month from your paytm wallet if you haven't done your kyc if you do that kyc then the uh, limit extends up to 1 lakh or something like that so now how to do kyc uh, is there you have to uh, follow three main basic steps you have to open the paytm app and when you open the paytm app this screen will be seen on your phone and here you can see your the uh, as there is a kyc option just click on that kyc button it will take you to this page wherein they tell you to fill your aadhar number that is the 12 digit aadhar number for you which is a unique aadhar number for each and every person as you enter the aadhar number there is also a blank uh, text box given to enter your full name as per the aadhar card so just read your aadhar card and whatever the name is printed on the aadhar card enter the same uh, name and if you do not have an aadhar card there is an option below where you can do complete your kyc using other documents like passport driving license voter's id etc so basically if you are having your aadhar card and the number which is linked to your aadhar card at the time of making aadhar is the same which you are using right now then if you put your aadhar card and if you put the full name of your aadhar card and just click proceed you will get an otp on your mobile on which which you will if you enter on your uh, paytm app then uh, you can be directed to the page where you have to fill other details like your name your full name your address all those things uh, married unmarried all the uh, current status of your life everything basically your education everything and then you have to just click proceed and then all the documents are submitted to you uh, submitted by you to paytm within a span of 7 days paytm will process your application either if there is an agent who is ready to come at your place then you have to click on the request a visit button and he'll visit you uh, to check all the documents if they are proper if they match and do your kyc there itself if there is no agent in your place to come home then paytm will give you a list of all the agents which are nearby you where you can just find their location go at their place they'll do the basic procedure of verifying the documents and immediately as they do the procedure of the document verification you will get a message by paytm and all that your kyc is done successfully and after that you will have no issues and you can use the paytm wallet as you were using before 28th of february so that is about the paytm kyc method which is completely explained by me in this video if you have any kind of doubts anything in your mind you can comment in the comment section below and i'll surely give an answer to that and uh, like always to end my video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel to stay tuned